now we will move into the third type of a random variable that is a mixed type random variable. The definition a random variable x is said to be a mixed type random variable if its CDF has both countable number of discontinuities and continuous in some intervals. You see the definition very carefully. For a discrete type random variable, it has a countable number of discontinuities. For a mixed type random variable, it is a continuous function in x, that means in the whole real line. Whereas, the mixed type random variable is the combination of both, that means the CDF has a discontinuities as well as a continuous function in some interval. In that case, that random variable is going to be called it as a mixed type random variable. In this case, if you add the masses at countably countable number of discontinuities points and if you integrate uh, the probability density both uh, will give the value point that is very important. I am writing uh, integration from minus infinity to infinity f of t here the f of t value will be greater than 0 in some interval definitely the integration alone will will not give the value 1 as well as the summation of uh, i p of x equal to x i alone will not give value 1. If you add both it is going to be 1 that means uh, this value is lies between uh, open interval 0 to 1 and this value is also lies between uh, open interval 0 to 1 and put together that is going to be 1. That means the unit mass is uh, distributed over the countable number of uh, points in the real line as well as in few intervals or some intervals. The whole unit mass is uh, distributed both uh, in a finite uh, sorry countable number of uh, points those are jump points and the values are jump values and uh, the density between uh, some interval. Whereas, uh, for a discrete type random variable, the unit mass is distributed over a countable number of uh, points. For a continuous type random variable, the unit mass is distributed over some intervals. Whereas, for mixed type random variable, it has both jumps as well as density in the interval. So, I am going to give one simple example. Through that example, you will understand uh, how the mixed type random variable look like. The way I started uh, today's class, uh, I have given uh, 5 different uh, CDFs in the previous class. So, out of those 5 different CDFs, few CDFs are going to be a discrete type, few CDFs are going to be continuous type and few CDFs are going to be mixed type. So, I am going to give the example for the mixed type random variable. Example, only one example I am going to introduce for uh, this mixed type random variable. Let x be a 
a random variable with uh, the CDF is given by CDF given by capital F of x. It takes a value 0, it is uh, less than 0. It takes a value 1 by 2 when x takes a value 0. Between the interval 0 to 1, it is a 1 by 2 plus x by 2. From 1 onwards, the value will be 1. The CDF of uh, this particular random variable is 0 till 0. At 0, there is a jump. From 0 onwards uh, till 1, uh, it is a uh, of plus x by 2. From 1 onwards, it value is 1. So, I can draw the CDF of uh, this random variable. Till 0, it is 0. Then 0 at, at the point 0, there is a jump. And uh, from 0 to 1, 1 by 2 plus x by 2. So, a slanting line till 1, then from 1 onwards, it becomes 1. You see that this particular CDF is 0 till 0, at 0 there is a jump then it is a continuous uh, between uh, 0 to 1, then from 1 onwards it is 1. So, basically it is a continuous uh, from uh, 0 to infinity, whereas 0 there is a jump and from minus infinity to 0 it is 0. You cannot conclude that this random variable is a discrete type random variable because uh, it has a jump as well as there is a continuous function between uh, 0 to infinity. You cannot consider this as a continuous type random variable because it has a jump also. Whereas, uh, this is going to be a mixed type random variable because it has a one jump and uh, the continuous between the interval 0 to infinity by seeing the CDF. The CDF uh, has a jump as well as a continuous uh, in the interval 0 to infinity and therefore, it is a mixed type. In general, you may have a countable number of jumps in the CDF and uh, the continuous function in uh, many intervals. In this case, it is only one interval. Therefore, this is a mixed type, is a mixed type random variable. In general, one can always write the CDF of any random variable of a discrete part and the continuous part. So, the suffix means uh, the CDF with the discrete part, discrete type, the CDF with the continuous type. So, the mixed uh, type random variable has a CDF in the form of a sum of a alpha times the discrete part as well as a beta times the continuous. So, one can write for this example, this is going to be capital F of x. I can find out the alpha is going to be 1 by 2 of a discrete part times discrete part plus 1 by 2 the continuous part, where the discrete part that itself a CDF less than 0 till 0 and 1 from 0 onwards, whereas the continuous part of CDF uh, that is again a CDF uh, till 0 it is 0, 
and it takes a value x between 0 to 1 and it becomes 1 from 1 onwards. So, the discrete part f d x that alone it is a CDF of a discrete type random variable which has the mass at 0 and the jump value is 1 and f c x is a, conti it's a continuous part of a CDF and that itself a CDF which is a 0 till 0 and x between 0 to 1 and uh, 1 onwards it is 1, but that is a continuous type random variable CDF. For a mixed type random variable, it is a both that is a 1 by 2 times F D of x plus 1 by 2 times F C of x. So, if you have a any continuous type random variable, you do not have a discrete part. If you have a discrete type random variable, there is no continuous part. If you have a mixed type random variable, you will have a CDF uh, in the some constant times uh, discrete part plus constant times a uh, continuous part this constant one can identify. So, this call it as a canonical form of a CDF the way we have written uh, f x is uh, alpha times a uh, discrete type plus beta times the continuous type that we call it as a canonical form of a CDF. So, this is very important for uh, immaterial of the random variable is a discrete type or continuous type or mixed type for every type of random variable it will be simplified. So, with this uh, uh, definition of a discrete and continuous and uh, mixed type random variables and uh, one or two examples I am concluding uh, any random variable can be classified into the discrete or continuous or mixed type by seeing it is a CDF if it is a discontinuities only then it is a discrete if it is a continuous function then it is a call it as a continuous type if it has both then it is going to be called as a mixed type random variable i have to give some more remarks over the uh, random variable with respect to cdf so i'm going to list out uh, those remarks the first remark you can always find the probability of x lies between any interval you can always find probability of x lies between a to b for a is less than b a can be a real as well as b can be real where a is less than b, one can find the probability of uh, x lies between a to b that is nothing but the CDF uh, of the random variable at the point b minus the CDF uh, at the point a. One can always find uh, the probability of x lies between a to b by using the CDF uh, by substituting the value at x equal to b and uh, x equal to a. Whereas, uh, if you want to find out uh, the probability of x lies between a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b, then it is same as f of b minus f of a and you have to include uh, the probability of x equal to a. Suppose, you want to find out uh, the probability of uh, a less than x less than b this also can be computed in the same way it is a f of b minus f of a minus probability of a x is equal to b. Now, the question is a when you need to add the probability of x equal to a or when you have to subtract the probability of x equal to b based on which type of random variable you are in the discussion. If it is a discrete type random variable and uh, x is equal to a where a is a jump point such that a probability of x is equal to a is greater than 0 
then you can add if uh, x is a discrete random type random variable x is a discrete type random variable where a is not a jump point that means the probability of x equal to a is a 0 then you do not need to add. So, based on the discrete type random variable in which it is a jump point or not that is a one discussion. The second discussion when x is a continuous type random variable when x is a continuous type random variable the probability of x equal to a that is nothing but uh, the integration and it is a Riemann integration. So, the probability of for continuous type random variable x for a continuous type uh, random variable the probability of a less than x less than or equal to b that is nothing but the integration from minus infinity to b of f of t dt minus minus infinity to a f of t dt that is same as the probability of x lies between a to b that is nothing but integration from a to b of f of t dt when x is a continuous type random variable. Since it is integration from a to b f of t dt that is nothing but uh, suppose you have a probability density function like this then a to b is nothing but a suppose b is somewhere here this is a so this is basically a Riemann integration of a f of x between the interval a to b therefore the probability of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b that is also again it is a to b f of t dt when x is a continuous type random variable whether you include the point or exclude the point the integration is going to be again a to b f of t dt hence the probability of x takes any point that is going to be 0 for all a belonging to b hence for a continuous type random variable the probability of x lies between a to b open interval probability of x lies between closed interval or one side closed all the values are one and the same because the probability of x takes any point in the real line that value is 0 for a continuous type random variable that means uh, there is no mass at any point whereas uh, for a continuous type random variable there is a density between some interval therefore uh, that is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So, this is going to be the next remark therefore the previous result the result of uh, 2 and 3 whether you have to add or subtract the probability of x equal to a or probability of x equal to b this is going to be the issue for a discrete type random variable for continuous type random variable it is going to be 0. For a discrete type random variable if it is a jump point then there will be a addition there will be a subtraction if that is not a jump point again it is going to be 0. The next remark the fifth one. the probability mass function is a probability at that point x takes a value x i for a discrete type random variable whereas uh, there is no probability of uh, x takes a uh, some value for a continuous type random variable the probability is 0. But still for a smaller for a very small interval x 2 x plus delta x delta x is very small then 
you can make out the probability of x lies between x to x plus delta x whenever delta x is very small that can be approximately say the f of x delta x as it is a f of x is not a probability f of x is a probability density function if you integrate between the interval you will get the probability in that interval but if the interval is very small then you can uh, make uh, approximately it is going to be f of x delta x that is for uh, when delta x is very small so this is very important this uh, five remarks uh, about the random variable whenever you know the cdf you can get the probability of uh, x lies between any interval immaterial of it is a discrete or continuous if it is a continuous type random variable then whether it is open interval or a closed interval or semi closed and so on everything is one and the same because the you are integrating the probability density between the interval therefore some books uh, they write the probability density function in the open interval otherwise it is zero some books they use a probability density function in the closed interval so whether you write the open interval or closed interval it is immaterial because uh, you are going to do the riemann integration to find out the probability of x lies between any interval for a continuous type random variable for a discrete type random variable it is a sum of uh, probability masses at the jump points if it is a mixed type then it is a combination of both with this uh, remarks uh, along with the definition and the examples i am concluding the types of uh, random variable